Hello viewers and welcome to another preview of Dirt 3. Uh, now the last thing we've come across in the preview is of course the Jim Carner mode. Now you won't have seen any videos of anybody playing it with a wheel yet and I can tell you it's very very difficult indeed. So in this video now I'm just going to go through a couple of the uh, sort of the training areas, not all of them, just a couple to give you a little sneak gl uh, glimpse of some of the stuff you're going to be doing uh, before a look at me actually just learning how to use the, the wheel, learning how to use the car with the wheel, it's it's very very tricky indeed and it will require a lot of practice and rather than just cut it and just show you when I've got it, what I decided to do was actually just show you how many times I have to spin round an object before I actually start to get the hang of the slide so it will take loads and loads of practice but first check this out okay so First we're going to look at uh, one of the challenges here, uh, gate crasher mode essentially. Uh, a lot of power in the car so I want to kind of oversteer it in and then it kind of goes wide you see on the final block. Little squirts of power, you can't go nearly as fast as you want to go on it there, hitting the blocks. Good around the outside there, this is using standard wheel settings and full feedback on the wheel, up the ramp. And this is kind of after this where I make a couple of mistakes. So, I uh, didn't have the uh, handbrake mapped as I should have at the time there, so I couldn't get the handbrake down as I wanted to. And then getting into the slide here as well, I had an idea of how to go around it. With a pad, this, this task isn't too bad, it's, it's over and done with in no time, but with a wheel, obviously, I couldn't quite get it into the slide as I wanted it there. I thought I'd scramble, get another couple of blocks, and that's the end of that round. But you can see the wheel brings uh, different challenges, but it's definitely a lot of fun to play. Gives you that Ken block feeling. Okay, again here as well now, it's just learning how the car slides, uh, how close you can get it into the barrel and stuff like that. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my distance, but certainly loads and loads to uh, learn here. You know, the faster I was going over the jumps, obviously that would affect my braking after the jump and the way I slide and how to maintain speed in the slide as well. So, certainly these little tests are good for building consistency and there are lots of other tests as well. Okay viewers, so uh, now we're just going to look at the sort of playground area if you like, the parking lot. This is what concludes the demo that I've been playing for you guys. Um, now I've turned the force feedback on, off on the wheel which makes it hard to drive the car on one hand but in other words I won't break my wheel when I'm actually practicing. The Jim Carna is really really hard with the wheel. I'm not going to muck about, uh, it's a hundred times easier with a pad. Uh, a simple move like spinning around this pole with a pad is child's play with a wheel very complex but let's just try and see how we get on ah. try again and this is what if you're going to be a wheel user you're going to be doing uh, it doesn't matter how good you are at the rally stages the uh, Jim Kana requires a completely different mindset. So the challenge of spinning around the pole, you can see is amplified there, where I could do it easily with the pad, you know, with the wheel, you've really got to find out how to balance the car, get it in, stuff like that. The next challenge now we're looking at is one of the drift challenges, and again with the pad it's not too bad, you know, achieving a platinum probably on your third go, something like that, you know, once you find a rhythm and a line that you want to take around it. But again with the wheel, there's so much more in the way of sensitivity that you need to you need to find and account for. Now I'm using default settings on the wheel. I'm finding the car a little bit too pointy going one way and then the other at the moment with the wheel. So I'm probably going to need to alter the settings and find something that's a little bit more balanced for me on this mode. I think this is going to be a mode where you need to refine, refine it. You've got to practice, practice, practice and get something out of it there. I was a bit unlucky not to get some points at a couple of times there. 
just sliding out there as well. Again, I'm not always full power. Uh, a lot of the time I'm trying to control the throttle, trying to control the slide, but uh, there is a very fine line between getting it right and getting it wrong, and it, it just shows how much practice it's going to take to uh, get it right. So a lot of work with the wheel there. With a pad, as I say, that uh, a Platinum is, is much easier. Looking at here, slide under the truck. Oh, well, maybe I've already got it. Indeed. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have it, and uh, uh, it was a strange one there, but there you go. I mean, maybe I had a, a, I don't know what was going on, but uh, there I was just trying to get the blocks as well. <laughs> got that wrong, go. and it was all over. And now the last one is this spin dryer uh, thing, as they call it. Blimey, this is quite a tough one, actually, uh, but it wasn't too bad. You know, I managed to get in there, and I just put the wheel full lock and uh, hit a bit of handbrake. I got on the power and just hoped for the best and luckily the car uh, started to get into the slide and you can see the tyre marks burning their way in. Once you're in the slide, then it's fine then, you've done it, the challenge will sort itself out. But uh, how Ken does it in real life, God only knows. But that's uh, a little look there at the uh, at some of the early Jim Gymkhana stuff. Of course, we'll be looking at the Monaco Jim Gymkhana area as well on a later video and I'll be showing So that was uh, a quick clip of Jim Carno. As you can see, hard work with the wheel. A uh, lot of practice though, but I like that. It's going to take time, it's going to take practice. You're going to need to tune your wheel and get it just right. It is a bit pointy for me at the moment. I've turned off force feedback on my wheel to be able to do some of that stuff. I found that with the, obviously, spinning the wheel, you're fighting the force feedback. And to be honest, I didn't think it was feel it was doing my wheel any good. So you might want to reduce the force feedback on the wheel. But having said that, you know, it's still good fun to play. Um, but I, I think I'll probably master it with a pad first and then get back to playing it with the wheel. But that was a quick taster of Jim Carner. More to follow. See you soon.